Welcome back to Rescue Mission Day 41. It's me, the narrator of this commentated series. Will Powell make up for last episode's embarrassment? Find out today. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal. This is my intro, <laughs> the first intro that you're hearing. There wasn't anything before this. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's time. It's time for me to do Olimar's side missions, which you might be wondering, but pal, haven't we had that the last three episodes? You, you'd be right. But I was recording those at the beginning of every recording session, uh, not knowing when I would be posting them. But now I know. I'm posting them from here on out. A commenter said that uh, that there was a reward for getting, for completing it, and that I should do it before the end of the game instead of after. So here I am. And this will actually be a good opportunity for us to catch up on some lore. So let's do that. Baby. The previous captain, my father, was the very definition of generous. When a rescue call came in, he'd zoom off without a moment's hesitation. Once the mission was complete, he'd refuse to accept payment from whoever he rescued. He did this one mission after another, and eventually, we lived on the streets. And now, due to his generosity, all of the rescue corps lives on the streets. Oh. Yeah, this was, again, more comments mentioned this. This was a while ago, I think. I think I will put the relevant comments on screen, but they were saying that there were journal entries in the menus and I haven't looked at a single one. And sure enough, there's lore here. Since I became captain, the role of rescue pup caretaker has sat vacant. Still, I can't part with the rescue pups. My family has kept this pedigreed breed for generations beyond memory. I just need to find a recruit who can bond with Ochi like I do. Rescue pups love it when you play with them. In fact, the best way to make them happy and build on their pup drive is to put them to work. They just love being slaves. It's like their entire evolutionary line now in revolves around serving us. The more points in their pup drive, the more skills they will learn. I always give them plenty of praise for all their hard work. <laughs> the first time I saw my home planet from space, I thought this. The people down there, they're all part of a single living organism. No, we'll never completely eradicate conflict. Still, I hope a, a day will come when people will understand what I understood in that moment. I hope a day will come when they look at the person beside them and see themselves. I think that's a paraphrase to actual uh, astronauts looking down at, at the Earth from space for the first time. Or from the moon? People who are incapable of caring about those around them or living creatures in general. They'll never save anyone. You spent a lot of time with your companions. It's important to be thoughtful and considerate in the way you treat them. Very true. Uh, something that really changed my outlook was going through COVID and seeing how many people just, to be honest, didn't give a rat's ass about anyone else other than themselves. Whether that meant going places while being sick refusing to test, refusing to mask. I watched one person because he thought so little of, of COVID-19. This is somebody I grew up with intentionally cough in the face of another person I'd grown up with. And that person lived, took care of his mom who was heavily immune compromised and on dialysis. People, man. <laughs> People. We picked up an SOS signal from a Captain Olimar. I never thought there would be, there might be still undiscovered planets out there. Yes, this mission is going to be a dangerous one. I can feel it. The new rescue officer recruited to join our team will stay behind at HQ while we investigate. Uh, his name is Jeff, I think. Something's been on my mind lately. Do my rescue officers have enough responsibility and autonomy? Is there something I should be doing differently? I worry. I can't stop worrying. Am I doing everything I should be as the captain? You know, for as much as I, uh, I give Shepard kind of a, a joking voice, these are characters. These are characters that, to varying degrees, are going through their own little arcs. I would say, I would say, 
Shepard probably has the strongest arc of them all, just based off of that. But looking at Olimar's writing, it made me give the, these writers a lot of a lot of credit. <clears throat> you are the one who saved me. Yes, I should do something to thank you. Yes, I shall give you a present. How about a thank you? <laughs> Who wouldn't be happy just to have someone thank them? My name is... Well, it's not worth mentioning, really. And what is your name? Hmm? Jeff? Ha <laughs> ha, what a fine name that is. Well then, from now on, you and I are friends, Jeff. It is done. I will still never reveal my name. What? I have a name tag. Now me, I deal in mirth. I like to make people happy. Are you not happy to have saved me? Ha <laughs> ha! Go on then, smile. On a planet like this, you could have all the money in the universe, but it would be worth less than a normal piece of paper. At least you could use that to blow your nose, or you could make a paper sandwich. How I love my paper sandwiches. It would not be nutritious, but it would be delicious. Ha ha ha! Wow, I'm impressed by you. More impressed than I have been for a very long time. What have this planet's creatures done to you? I'm so curious. Is he talking to the dog? You must be a very pure-hearted individual, I think. Wahaha! The thing with money is, whether you have it or not, you can always afford a smile. If you have it, your lifestyle might be more comfortable. But if you do not, sometimes your heart is still richer. What do you think? Neither you nor I nor this plant belong to anybody. Our smiles, though, those are what you'd call community property. Wahaha! The trick to helping others smile is to be smiling yourself, which is why I never do it. Wow, you know what? I am truly happy I came on this tour. Because I met you, of course. Wahaha! I guess he kind of smiled there. If there is a beginning, there is an end. That is what they say, but if there is no end, then there cannot have been a beginning either. Is that right? Wahaha! In other words, since our friendship has no end, that means you and I have been friends since before we met. What? <laughs> My name is... Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's all I need. Keep, yep. Keep on stepping. What a weird guy. Olimar! Hello! You are not weird. You are... a sympathetic character. With a family. Hopes, dreams, and insecurities. I'm shocked that Louis came to this planet, too. Tell me the tale. Oh, right. It feels like it was yesterday. Day... Technically, it would be day three. Eight ship parts. And I... have something to reveal as we land. Oh, I get to choose. I forgot. Uh, we have all of our Pikmin. Maybe we just... You know what? Yes. We could go either place. We're going to go back here. Actually, we don't have all of our Pikmin. I think we're missing an onion. Like I said, it's been a while since I recorded this. Let's go back. Because I am equipped with a strategy. In between the last episode and this... I've been grinding in my free time. Not Pikmin 4. No, 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 no. I've been grinding Pikmin 1 and 2. In between episodes, I started and finished the entirety of Pikmin 1 and 2. Pikmin 1, a 10-day run. My new record. Pikmin 2, 15 days. Crushing my record by so, so much. And I'm excited. You kindly switch. There you go. So what I'm gonna do is we have that treasure there, and I should probably send Olimar over to it. But what I was thinking, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is there are some dead enemies there from yesterday. Olimar's gonna go over there. He's going to carry them back. He's not going to harvest them with reds. He's going to carry them back, and then as soon as he sets the Pikmin on it, he is going to go, or I'm going to go, uh, blow up 
the, the gate. And I think I noticed in post that these stay the color that you threw Pikmin on, which is such a great change. Okay, they can get that. You can come with me. Send Moss back here. And, oh, sure enough. Uh, and then is it R? No, it's, it's Z, ZL. ZL. Ah. Uh, the thing I praise so much only to not use. Can we get this? This is much harder than it should be. There we go. Cool. Uh, and then actually... Do we... I guess I don't move my base back yet. Maybe I do. I can't climb up this. I haven't built it yet, so... Well, we will move the base. We will move the base probably after I bomb this. I think that makes sense. Uh, where... There they are. Let's... Let's deal with this now before it heads into the drain. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. You do that. Go. And my end goal here is to have, uh, have Moss clean this up. Ow. <laughs> And I, I think, if I recall... How many bomb rocks did I have? I actually have not checked that. I just kind of had confidence? Okay, we're good. That should be enough. One. Two. Nah, I was mi Oh, never mind. <laughs> it wasn't mistimed. I'm used to throwing, uh... I'm, <laughs> I'm used to throwing yellow Pikmin now. <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> it, uh... I don't need to, to worry about that. Go. Kill. I probably could have thrown them, but I, I need to get used to using this. Again, I, I, you know what? Let's just use the right tool for the job here. I only have nine Pikmin to my name. Yeah, missed. Okay. And then, what are we doing? What, what did I say I was going to do? I was going to move the base? Yeah. Let's move the base. Can we, can we get that? It kind of looks like we... We can! I don't think that we're supposed to be able to do that. Um? Okay. Yeah, let's let's get some more red Pikmin then. Uh, reds. Sure. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, uh, I didn't, I did not expect that. Uh, I want to... I'm gonna have to portion this out. I think Moss takes like 15. That's 14. One more. And then you're gonna go this way. If it's not enough, I have the base right there. I can just switch it right back. So go. Switch back here. You know, for as much as I was poo-pooing um, how you needed to you needed to go all the way back to base just to swap colors if you had three out. They do have multiple bases. I, I do need to give the game that much credit that it isn't one base unlike other previous Pikmin games. That's that's fair. These are all dead, right? Okay, these are all dead. So let's, again, use the right tool for the job. Uh, that is not the right button. Need to get used to that. Okay. Perfect. You're here. We'll get the Ionian or Ionia jet. Perfect. Um, you know what we'll probably do as well? We're probably gonna move the base. Yeah, that would that makes sense. Move the base. Switch. And then once that's done, uh actually what am I They're gonna be done in a second, but. Let's do this. I think they're smart enough. Yeah, I think... Oh, they're done. They're done. They're smart enough! Ha-ha! Kind of. That's fine. That'll work. How many Pikmin do I have carrying that? I hope these nine are enough. Hi, Honey Wisp. You are very beautiful and serene. And an original enemy... One of the... One of the OG. Okay, uh... Olimar, you're tasked with getting up there... Oh, wait, 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 wait. The ship part is back, so we can move base. 
Perfect. And then I don't know where the blue onion is at the moment, uh, but once we get it, then we're going to be able to switch over. We're going to be able to, s to switch over to farming blues. Where am I going? Oh, to the right. The camera isn't zoomed out as much as I'm used to from Pikmin 1 and 2. I I'm, having to re I'm having to relearn the game, which is silly. It's very silly. Oh, please die. That's not a funny joke. You will be food for my... You're are you all? Are you all them? Are these safe? Is nothing sacred? Okay, these are fine. Ah, oh, it's nice. Yes. I love it. Okay. I, I kind of want to get this thing with the reds, because I don't think that's intended. We're kind of, we're kind of like edge canceling them up there, or platform canceling them up. Okay, do we have the blue onion yet? Where? Do I need to move it? I hear them. I don't know where they are. Oh, there, there they are. Uh, I was on this side. I really don't think what I'm doing is how it's supposed to go. And yes, I know. No, 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 no. I don't want to do it the right way. I want to do it the wrong way. Let me do it the wrong way. This is how I learn. How did I even do that? Yes, yes, yes. We've seen this before. Oh, wait, I can... Do I... Ah, I can't, I can't bear skipping this. There's too much, there's too much fanfare around getting another onion for me to skip this, even though I've seen it a few times. Perfect. We have blues. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. How on earth? Did I just get like, no, oh, I'm throwing Pikmin down the drain. Oh, there we go. There we go. Proof of concept. That is, that's a tactic. You can... You can definitely get that with reds. Also, I love how they kept the design. It really looks like a toilet seat. And it doesn't at all match what what goes onto the ship. Because look at that. It's not a circle. It's a half circle. And this is like a full circle. Oh, wait. it's No, it's not both halves. Or both sides. I don't know why it's fully round. It's always, it's always been weird for me. Okay, we don't have any more parts in this area, correct? So we can... Turn our attention fully onto Blue Pikmin. Blue Pikmin, interesting. Okay, you go away. And we are going to focus all of our attention. Come on, change color, change colors, change color. One more time, there you go. Towards getting blues. And in fact, let's dismiss. And Olimar, you head... You head over here. Yeah, you head over there with your yellows. It's further away. Which makes sense. That's... Aw. Oh. It's further away, which makes sense. Uh, because the yellows will have to work a little bit harder for their earnings, whereas the blues are right close to home. Uh, and then what? what else is nearby? That's nearby, kind of. Can't get up there. So yeah, we can we can grab that though. Some reds. Let's put the reds away. And pluck that while we're at it. It was weird. Um, I didn't playing through Pikmin one and two, and I'm probably gonna make a couple of shorts about this because I saved some replays. I encountered some things in those those playthroughs that I I just didn't know. I didn't know about Pikmin, which is weird. I mean, it's it's weird, but it's also cool that after my you know umpteenth playthrough, I'm still discovering new stuff. Okay, I guess I can get over there, so I will. For example, uh, I don't. I need to test this in the GameCube version, but you know how pressing Y you can uh, increase or decrease the intervals by ten. Apparently that's in the originals. You can def you can do that. And I really want to know is that something that they added for the port or no? Now, the port also d did some negative things. I I guess I I want to again, I might make content of this. Uh so I don't want to go too in depth, but 
you you can't um you can't change your pikmin types one way or the other like you can't go you know how like at the bottom of the screen there's the little like wheel right and you can you can go from blues to reds or you can go from blues to yellows and you can go left and right you cannot do that um we should wait for them you can't do that in in the port you can only go one direction, which is awful. You also can't select, at least I couldn't figure out a way, uh, you can't select different Pikmin, um, I don't even know what to call it. You can't swap between leaves, buds, and flowers. That one really stinks, because if you want to throw Pikmin, like, for example, sometimes I want my leaf Pikmin to work on, on gates, and I can't have them, um, and I want my flowers to carry stuff. You can't differentiate that in the port. There's a lot of functionality that's been removed, but they added the feature, and this one I actually will show. I have no qualms about doing this. Uh, where is it? They added the feature, where if you accidentally throw a purple into a candy pop bud, then it doesn't count against the candy pop bud's usage, which is not true of the original. But So, there are some positives and some negatives that really make it a... It's a unique, um, it's a nuanced question. Where are these? They're over there. Okay. Uh, dismount. I want to go that way. Very quickly. Very, very quickly. It's a nuanced question of whether or not uh, which version is better. Personally, oh, they also removed boost throwing, which if you're somebody who boosts through, uh, basically it was while you were running and you throw through a Pikmin. Wait, is this still a thing? Hold on. Is it a thing in this game? Run, throw. It How is that working? That's very weird. Huh. Uh, if you ran and threw your Pikmin, they would, uh, they would go further. Basically, they would land where your cursor would be if you kept running. So what you could do is just a short walk forward and throw, and you'd throw them, like, twice the distance, even though you physically couldn't run that far. So you could throw them incredible distances, uh, across chasms and such. And it was such a good strategy, but it's gone from, pi uh, from the port. So there's just a lot of stuff that is good, is bad, some bug fixes from Pikmin 1 that make the game very enjoyable to play. Uh, you don't lose Pikmin randomly anymore. It's it's pretty cool. It was, it was a great experience for me to play my favorite games again. Two parts for day four. Not the best, but we really didn't have any other choice. What do we have to say? What does Olimar have to say? Ooh, Trekinator. That one's... I still don't know the use for this. Idler's Alert, very useful. And what is Olimar saying? Proper planning is essential in both my day job and in my search for missing parts. Tomorrow, the work continues. I'll see you guys then. <laughs>